Hi, my name is Jill Payne, and this is Trina Pryor, and we started PlaySmart in 2018. When we started PlaySmart Preschool, it was really important to us to kind of carry over um, what we did as therapists. We're both speech-language pathologists, and so in order to teach our children how to talk, we do that through play. Um, and so it was really important to us to start a developmentally appropriate preschool where that's what the kids did and that's how they learn is through play. We have grown from having one class from three to five year olds to now having four classes. So now we can group them more by their age, more ability based as well. And then I don't think we ever really saw ourselves in such a large space. I think um, we bought this building right before the pandemic and decided to completely renovate it. I think just being in this large space, having the gymnasium is huge for our preschool. And then this past year, we also added a kindergarten to that. Um, and so, you know, just having the variety of classrooms and um, being able to kind of expand our reach. I think for, for us being speech language pathologists and understanding development in that way, I think that we understand um, what kids need in order to thrive. And also we provide weekly speech services in the classroom to all the kids. So they're all getting a general phonics reading based lesson from a speech language pathologist weekly, which I think is huge. We really wanted to do some market research before we started the preschool. We really wanted to make sure it was something that the community needed um, as well. And so they were really helpful in helping us put together not only um, the market research, but also a budget and kind of helped us analyze and go through that and figure out exactly you know what we would be able to afford and what we would be able to start with. So that was very helpful. And I think too, just knowing that they're there for our, you know, to support us um, through whatever. So I think that's awesome. Sometimes during the day to day, you know, the stress, and sometimes you forget the why of why did you start this and why are we here? And then all it takes is to hear from a parent and then thank you um, or thank us for their child. Their child's not thriving. This is the best place for them. They're so social now. They're a different kid. Mm -hmm. And it just reminds us of our purpose and um, why we're here and why we do, why we started PlaySmart and why we do what we do. And I think you think, you know, as a business owner that any small failure is, you know, so big to you because your business is your life. And so I think um, just learning that we can and we will get through those those small things that happen, even if it's a big thing like COVID, um, that we can get through that and um, we'll be better on the other side. I think if you have an idea and you're passionate about it, that you need to just go for it. I think sometimes we think too much about things and I think that's one thing that's actually worked in our favor is that sometimes we have an idea and we're like, oh, let's do that. Let's meet with the Small Business Association and let's figure out how we can bring our ideas and our plans into fruition.